The midterm election saw massive turnout, but also massive failures of our democracy. As big money floods our political system, and some in power are intent on making it harder for certain people to vote, we need a movement to save our democracy. Here are 10 steps. Number one, make voter registration automatic for all eligible voters, using information they've already provided the Department of Motor Vehicles or another government agency. This has already been implemented in several states, including Oregon, and it works. In 2014, just over one in five Americans were eligible to vote but did not register. Automatic registration would automatically change that. Number two, pass a new Voting Rights Act, setting uniform national voting standards and preventing states from engaging in any form of voter suppression, such as voter ID laws, the purging of voter rolls, and inaccessible and inadequate polling places. Number three, implement public financing of elections in which public funds match small donations, thereby eliminating the advantage of big money. Number four, require public disclosure of the sources of all political donations. Much of that is now secret, so no one is held accountable. Number five, end the revolving door between serving in government and lobbying. Members of Congress, members of their staffs, federal employees, they too often take lucrative lobbying jobs after leaving government. In turn, lobbyists take important positions in government. This revolving door creates conflicts between the public interest and private greed. Number six, ban members of Congress from owning specific shares of stock while they're in office. Require that they hold their investments in index funds so they won't favor particular companies while carrying out their public duties. Number seven, require that all candidates running for Congress and the presidency release their tax returns so the American people know of any potential financial conflicts of interest before they're elected. Number eight, eliminate gerrymandered districts by creating independent redistricting commissions. Some states, Arizona, California, Michigan, and Colorado, for example, have already established nonpartisan commissions to ensure that congressional maps are drawn fairly without racial or partisan bias. All other states should follow their lead. Number nine, make the electoral college irrelevant. The presidency should be awarded to the candidate who receives the most votes, period. States should agree to award all their electoral college votes to the winner of the popular vote by joining the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. 10 and finally, fight for a Supreme Court that will reverse its Citizens United decision, which interpreted the First Amendment to prevent Congress or state governments from limiting political spending. Follow these 10 steps and begin to make our democracy work again. What do you think? In your opinion, how can we restore a government of the people, by the people, and for the people? If you found this video helpful, be sure to also watch our video of the three things you didn't know about money and politics with Heather McGee. And as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.